Today in Scratch, we're going to work on creating our own holiday animated card using this Scratch tool. So as you can see, I've pulled up um, a few sprites, and I actually have two different backdrops. All of the characters and backdrops that I'm working with right now are things that I could grab from the Scratch library. Um, from the backdrop and sprite library, uh, but you also could always import your own. I have another video that explains how to do that. I can link that below. Uh, but for today, we're just going to worry about what we have so far. So I want to make an animated card. So I have a cover. I want this red background to be the front of my card, and I want this one to be the inside of my card. I have a few characters. I have a snowflake. And I think maybe I'll make some more snowflakes. Uh, and I want to animate it, right? I want to bring this card to life. So cards, you need some messages. So I'm going to add a few more sprites. Uh, this first one is just going to be green and I'm going to use the marker font and I'm going to say happy holidays. As you can tell there's really no way for me to change the size of the font down bottom. That's because once you create your text you can drag it um, and make it a lot bigger just using the corner handles. Uh, and then once it shows up on the screen you can kind of move it around over here to get it to where you want. We'll end up programming all of that anyway, but that's just to get things started. And I want to add one more costume. So I'm going to go over here. And, or, um, excuse me, I want to add one more sprite, not costume. Costume would be with that sprite. But I want to add one more sprite. And this is going to be what I wanted to say on the inside of my card. So I'm going to say, let's make this card for my mom. So, dear mom... Merry Christmas. I hope you. Now you see as I'm typing it goes off the screen and I can't see it anymore. Well, if you click away and just click on it again, you can move it back to the center. The only problem with this is oftentimes you can't, you can't get back into this text box to edit what you've been working on. So if that happens, you're just going to have to erase it and get rid of it, which is really not that big a deal. It'll only take you a couple seconds to get started again. So this time I'm actually going to start my typing up in this corner so I have all the space that I need. Dear Mom, Happy new year and happy holidays love Aaron so it's pretty simple not really writing all that much because it's just a card it doesn't need to be a long letter you could make it a long letter if you wanted, but for today, I'm just going to keep it pretty uh, short and sweet. So now we have a little bit of an issue because we have things showing up all on this front page. And I don't want all of these things to be happening right now. And this is where we get to start coding. So now I'm going to go into my script. And the first thing I'm going to do is program my backdrop. I'm going to say, when the green flag is clicked, now I'm choosing to use when the green flag is clicked. Uh, you could also use when any key is pressed, like spacebar or anything like that, or stage is clicked. But I, I would stick to when the green flag is clicked because then we can program it so it is truly um, automatic, where you can program everything to happen without the user really having to do anything other than press play. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm on my backdrop, and I'm going to say when the green flag is clicked, switch to switch backdrop to sparkling that's this red backdrop that I have on right now and then I want to wait uh, let's wait five seconds and now we're going to switch our backdrop to winter lights so the green flag is clicked one two three four five and now we have our winter lights background which looks awesome 
but we still have a lot of issues, right? Our sprites are showing up and we don't want them to show up and all sorts of things like that. So to start, we know we want this Happy Holidays to show up on the front page. So we're going to do a few things. When the green flag is clicked, let's make sure that we program it to start at the location that we want it to be at, which is where it is right now, because these uh, numbers are where it is located currently. If you wanted to change them, you would just use this down here, right? And use your mouse curse, your cursor to hover over and figure out where you want to go. But we're going to keep it, stick it there. And then we are going to have it show. We want it to show up because we want it to be there at the beginning. But after five seconds, which is how long it's taking for our stage to change, we want it to hide because we don't want that to be there. So happy holidays. And now it's gone, which is great. Uh, but now we have some more issues, right? So this code is still showing up on the other screen. So again, we're going to do when the green flag is clicked, go to this location, and we're going to say hide, and then we're going to wait five seconds again. But this time, after five seconds, it's going to show, because we want it to show up once we switch to this screen. I'm also going to change the font color for this one to this red. Let's see if it lets me. Ah, I'd have to do each letter individually. Ooh, that's a little bit of a tricky way to do it. I think there's a better way. Well, but I think this really is the only way. Ah. This is what we can do. We can zoom in a bit, and then we're not going to have the issue of accidentally clicking on the background because if we zoom in, it's a lot easier to be more specific about what we want our mouse to do. So here I am changing the color of my font for this. This is something you can do with anything. It's not just something that you can do with the text. Uh, anytime you make something uh, in Scratch, and you want to change the character's costume around by changing its color, you just use this paint bucket, you choose your color from the wheel below, um, and you keep going. Uh, that keeps happening because I keep clicking on this line, uh, but instead of moving the way that I'd like it to, it's filling the bucket. The bucket is filling the paint in. Oh gee, okay, there we go. Now we go back up and we finish this off. Click here, just a few more letters to complete. As I'm doing this, I'm also using my eyes to look over um, at what it looks like so that I know what my screen looks like. Like I said, this is a little bit messy. I probably would have been better off if I chose to do red from the start, but it works. Um, and now it looks pretty good. I like the way it looks now. So I'm happy with that. I think it looks really nice and is pretty easy to read. My mom will definitely be able to see that there. So now if I click the green flag, happy holidays. I have my penguin. I have a snowflake snowman on my cover. Dear mom, happy new year and happy holidays. Love, Erin. Now a few more things that I would like to happen. Um, I don't want my penguin to show up on this page, uh, and I also don't want my snowman to show up on this page. So again, I'm going to use those show and hide blocks. Um, actually, I do want my sh snowman to show up on this page, but I want him to face the other way and kind of be standing there. So what do you guys think? I think it's going to be pretty similar to this. So I'm actually going to add these scripts to my backdrop, backpack which we've done in a couple of other videos. Uh, and now we are going to drag this one in. So when the green flag is clicked, we want our penguin to show up. Good, because we want him to be on that front screen. Uh, but I think we need to change his motion blocks, or I'm sorry, his location blocks, his go-to X and Y. Yes, he needs to be at negative 144 and negative 56. 
that will get him to the location that we want him in, I believe. Yeah! So that looks great! And five seconds later, our background changes and he's gone. So now we just have to do something similar with our snowman. Um, and we're actually going to use this code this time. Again, we have to edit uh, his location. Um, and his location is here, which you can figure out by using these numbers or looking in here, because this is giving us his location now. So that is negative 20 and negative 84. So here's our penguin. We've got one snowflake. And now we have our snowman. This is pretty great so far. Um, I'm going to end this video here, but I'm going to upload a second video that will go over how to uh, get our char characters animated. So maybe our penguin will move around a little bit or uh, we can have some snowflakes falling. Uh, that'll be the next step in creating this holiday card. Let me just replay it for you one more time. So we have happy holidays. We have our backdrop. Five seconds later, dear mom, happy new year and happy holidays. Love, Eric.